Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize an image um, for the web. And I'm, for, for this one, I'm going to use this one I used in a previous example. It's how to do on-page optimization. And I'm going to reduce the size of this because this is almost a meg in terms of size. So that's pretty heavy. It would, it would cause your website to load slowly. And, um, you know, not the best thing. And as you can see, the dimensions are very huge. So we're going to shrink this down to something that's a little bit more palatable for your computer as well as it's going to save a lot in terms of space. All right. So to do that, we're going to need a couple tools, three websites we're going to use. The first one is Pixel Art Editor. Um, that's a free um, site. I think it's owned by Google. Um, and it's kind of like Photoshop, um, but allows you to edit um, your web your, your images and do quite a, a quite a few really cool things. For this demo, we're just going to use it to upload the image. OK. I'm going to select the image I want to have edited. It's going to load it up here for me. And then I'm going to ask it to, let's just move this up a little bit. I'm going to have it resize the image. And I'm going to drop it down to something that's a little bit more closer to a website. So let's see, 1500 by 1941. We're going to keep the constraints, the constraint, the proportion. So it stays in, in the same dimensions that it is currently. Okay. So it's a lot smaller. That's a, kind of like the width of a, a standard computer. And then we're going to go ahead and save that image. Okay. And then it's already keyword optimized, but if it wasn't like it said, it said, you know, image one, one, two, five, you would just change it to on page SEO. Make sure you're saving it as a JPEG whenever possible, because that's going to be a smaller size and um, only use PNG if you need a transparent background, okay? Um, so, and as you can see, the size already is a lot smaller. It's almost about half of what it was before. So I'm gonna select on okay, and I'm gonna resave. I'm not gonna resave that one. I'll just call it number two, because I might use that as a bigger one for some other reason, okay? And then I save the image, okay? So now I have the smaller image saved on my computer. I wanna make sure that this image is as small as possible and for that, I'm going to use a site called Optimil, Optimizilla. Um, that's a bit of a mouthful here. Uh, but you're just going to go to this website right here. And what this is going to do is going to make sure that your your web, your image is compressed as much as possible without losing it very much image quality. In some cases, no image quality at all. So as you can see, it's 455, which is half of what it was initially. Okay. And then I'm going to go open. I'm going to let it do its magic. Okay, it's going to go ahead and it's going to shrink that image down as much as it can. It's compressing it. And look at that. It got it down to another 50% of what it was. All right. So if I, you could do up to 20 images at a time with this site, um, I just did one. If you do multiple at a time, you can download all and it zips it. Okay, I find that to be a bit of a pain in the butt. So I just like doing them one, one by one. But as you can see, the difference in the image quality is, you know, pretty much non. You can't even tell the difference. This is, you know, this is. 546k this is only 231k so half the size your site's gonna load faster nobody's gonna notice the difference and you can everybody's gonna be happy okay so i'm just gonna download that image back to the site make sure we maintain the same keyword i'm gonna just use say, no point saving it three times okay now i have a smaller image saved with the right keyword in the jpeg format the next tool i'm going to use is geotag i'm going to geotag my image because i want to be ranking for on page SEO for um, Ottawa, Ontario. Okay, so I'm gonna just go to this website, geotag my pick and com, and then I do search for my, my my city that I'm in. And then once that comes up, it gives me a location in the city. I'm gonna select my image that I just geotagged, which is the smaller one right here, which I just optimized, and I'm gonna upload it. Okay, it's gonna tell me that there's no location here. But as soon as I hit save, it's going to download that image right now with a geotag. Okay, I'm going to replace it. Now, if you do the same thing again, so you see before it said no geograph, no geo location. If I do the same thing again, see, it didn't get much bigger. It just went up by, you know, one kilobyte, so 230. Now, if I upload it, and it analyzes the image. OK, 
give it a second notice I did something here so this is just to test and show you that it, it, it really did something it really geotag the image simply go select an image I'm going to select this one it doesn't like when I do the same thing you see boom it gave me the address in Ottawa Ontario just like I wanted okay so I don't need to do that again but these are the three steps so step one is you take an image and you resize it inside of something like PixelR um, to the exact size that you will need. There's no point uploading a larger image than you actually need. Get it cropped or edited to the size you need. Then you're gonna go to Optimalizer and shrink it. Okay, so that's the image is actually 25% of what I started off with. Then you geotag the image and now your image is ready to be uploaded to the website or any of your social media uh, profiles. Um, well, this is a fully optimized image for you. Okay, I hope you guys find this useful. I'll talk to you soon.